Good morning everybody, Greener Man here from southwest France. It's a bright morning, beautiful sky. Near pigeons. Lots of little birds. Spring is definitely on its way. Uh, right, today uh, I'm talking to you about the Fiat de Cato. The van. Um, we had some bad frosts about a week ago and I went out to it at 11 o'clock at night to go and do some work and battery was dead. It wouldn't even try and turn over, wouldn't even try and turn over the van. So uh, I had to jump start it and that was the first thing. I'd never jump started this van before, about about a year. Yeah, I got it last February, so uh, at the end of the cold weather had it all year, not really any cold weather until the other night. So to jump start uh, Fiat Decato, in case you didn't know, because I didn't know where you're supposed to jump start it, I'll take you through it. So you open the door, and on the, in France, we drive on the left hand side. So it's, well we drive on the right hand side, but the driver is on the left hand side of the vehicle. That's where the bonnet clip is, bonnet release. I believe it's on the same side, even if you're driving on the right, so like UK, um, it's still up on the left hand side from the inside of the cab, if you know what I mean. The battery, incidentally, is under this floor panel, but there's a place under the bonnet, which I'll show you now, where you jump start from. I'm talking jump start, I'm talking from another vehicle or from a power pack, starter pack. So you press the clip, put up the uh, there we go. Right, so you've got this point here only for jump start, that's the ground. That's your ground lug, that's easy enough. And then you have to look and find your positive. And the positive is there's this box here, there's this panel here, and I might need to get a screwdriver to pop it up. You need to put a screwdriver in there and lever and that front piece there lifts up on this hinge. Screwdriver in the slot and it lifts up. That plate there that's the positive so you clip you start to lead on there so you always clip the positive on first so if you're starting off another vehicle you open the bonnet on another vehicle you don't connect the brown the, the black you connect the red to the positive on here and you connect the red to the positive on the vehicle and then you connect the earth and I always connect it to the earth on here the black and then to the negative on the other battery terminal on the car and then I would start the other car give it about 20 seconds or so and then try and start the vehicle that's flat you could use the same lugs if you were using a starter pack. So that's where I jump started it from. And that got me going, and that was fine. But from my experience, I realise that it's probably in the van's six years old. There's every chance the battery may have been on from new. Um, so I thought, really cold, that's usually when the battery starts to fail and show signs that it's getting weak so we'll order a new one and I ordered one from Battery Set um, which I think is a French site and it's 127 euros delivered for a Varta Silver Dynamic biggest one you can get so these clips you do a quarter turn, is it half turn? half turn
and then the whole panel lifts up to reveal the battery. Now underneath the, all this sea of wires and conduits, you can see the battery. So that's just a big connection pad with a couple of fuses on it. Looks like auxiliaries. So that's your positive terminal. There's your negative terminal with a big ground lead going to the bodywork. Always disconnect the negative first, the, the black or the negative, the ground. So that then if any of the positives touch the bodywork, they're not going to short. Um, so that's what we're going to do next. So we're going to disconnect the black which on this is a quick release, I believe. There we go. Give it a waggle. Come on. Push that off. Pop that out of the way over there. Interesting, there's a little Plug socket and a ground lug there, I don't know what that's for. Let's look that up. So one clip. That's cable tied. Let's see if we can get that clip off there. Need to get that out of the way to lift the battery now. There's a clamp here, we need to get that off. So I'll come back to you, I'll get this off, that off, I'll undo that. Not there, which will release the positive clip, and I'll come back to you. So that's 13 millimeter, but you need a deep socket because there's a thread sticking up, so you can't get a shallow socket on that clip. You just get a screwdriver and lever it off from the plate. Take that off. Take that off. Undo the positive terminal. It's a ten mil. How things have changed with all these different flat plate terminals and stuff. I remember when I started to drive. You just got a battery and you got two terminals on it and that was it. Everything got fastened onto each of the terminals. Got a crimp lug on or something. Tough little guy to get off. There we go. Oh, it's actually fastened in, I think. There. Never done one of these before, can you tell? Yeah, so there's that screw there. Made it take out. Swiss Army knife to the rescue. Swiss Army camping version, I think this is. It isn't maybe the one's camping. Don't know which one that is. Useful to have though in the van. There we go. Away, leaving us the old battery, which is a 12 volt, 95 amp, 800 amps starting. There might be a date on it, I'll have to have a look when I pull it out. 
Okay, I'm guessing this is probably an original battery because noticing that there it says distribute a Fiat, Fiat battery, Fiat. So that's what I'm guessing. I'm replacing it with the Vata 12 volt 110 920 amps. So that was a cranking. 95 amp ampere hours, sorry, cranking nine, uh, 800, and this one is 920. It's slightly bigger. Hoping it'll go in. I measured it before I ordered it, it should do. It's a little bit bigger. Let's try it. So there's a new battery in, and there's a little bit of space still. To slide it about. Now it says here in French immediately take out the transport plugs. There's a red one on that side and there's a sort of white one there, silver one. So let's see if we can get those out. Get those out. I need two hands. So I've got the two plugs out. That one on that side. And on that side. Terminals are hidden under these little covers. So, you just do the opposite <coughs> of um, taking them off. So, pop that down onto the terminal, make sure it's fully on. Ten mil spanner. Over tighten these. You see that's stopped now. Put a little bit more on. I'll be stripping these threads. Okay, not solid. I'll have to see if there's a hole. Well, there is a hole where those pegs went for the terminal cover. Screw should screw back into there. Then we want the clamping plate. So I put it through the hole and put it on that side. So that clamps. That in one side. Other. Place the nut. I think batteries normally have to not have any hard work or silly things done to them. Probably last, you get a good quality one, maybe four or five years. 
We may go more than that, but I think the optimum is about that. solid, that's solid, all these wires will clip back in, the mysterious wire with the plug on, which if anybody knows what that is for, please do tell me, put it in the comments, interested, so that just puts, pushes back on, and grips onto the metal, and on the other side, there might be a couple of little sparks. You can hear the van starting to wake up. And on this you simply shut the clamp and that's solid. So what's left for me to do now is screw that in and cut the, put the covers back on. Thought that was helpful. Leave any comments, um, ideas about what that socket's for. Um, below. Take care guys. Bye for now.